A family travels on the RMS Queen Mary to celebrate Halloween in 1938, but the trip quickly turns ominously violent and gloomy. In the present, a different family on the ocean ship has an equally bloody fate entwined with it. Similarly, there are parallels between the histories of the ship's commanders from the past and now. Haunting on a ship famed for ghost stories and paranormal activities, in reality, blended with a dark and bloody tale from the 1930s should translate into a cinematically rich narrative. And it does in director Gary Shaw's British horror outing. The visually riveting movie builds a deeply dark and mysterious ambience harking back to 1938 when a fortune teller Gwen Ratch, Nell Hudson, her husband, David Ratch, or Coburn, and their daughter are aboard the Queen Mary for Halloween. But the journey quickly takes a nasty and horribly gory turn. The story then shifts to the present day when another family, photographers Patrick and Ann Calder, Alice Eve and Joel Fry, and their son Lucas, Lenny Rush, board the tragic ship. Following a string of horrific incidents, the pair is forced to delve further into a heritage of grisly secrets. The idea of flitting between the present and the past is not new, and Tom Vaughan's overall plot is also a little bit formulaic. But the movie expertly captures the bygone age with perfect art direction, costumes, and makeup. The swift change of the timelines, however, is jumbled and frequently difficult to follow. As a result, the entire flow of the movie suffers. While the historical figures, decks, and passageways seem genuinely terrifying, the current narrative depends more on jump scares and blood. Psychological components are also incorporated into the tale, which heightens the suspense. The Queen Mary makes excellent use of music, particularly Tiffany Ashton's It Had To Be You, a hauntingly seductive ballad that the film concludes with. The historical couple played by Nell Hudson and Will Coburn accurately portrays their roles. The latter in particular deserves praise for his excellent acting skills despite having a mask over his face. Joel Fry and Alice Eve both give strong performances, although their characters could have used more depth. Lenny Rush is notable as well. Other notable actors in the movie include Angus Wright as a haughty rich man named Victor and Jim Piddock as Captain Carradine. While the Queen Mary makes good use of the ship's lengthy history as one of the world's most haunted locations and succeeds as a period drama, it falls short in the storytelling area, which could have been as compelling as the vessel's history and legacy. However, as far as the general aesthetic appeal and ambience go, you will be in for a treat.